Alright everybody, what's going on? It's Jesse Ladner here. And as you see, the the battery for the Christmas lawnmower has been put on the charge. Now of course I could we could have put a battery charger on ourselves, but unfortunately we let someone borrow our battery charger and it never showed back up, so this is a never start. Um I don't think it's gonna run because that battery looks pretty much toasted. I don't know, it might it's got a little bit of corrosion, but it's on slow charge. He tried to jump it put it on the jump starter at the twelve volt. But it still turned over slow, too slow. Um, oil was a bit low, so he didn't change it. It's just he um, he uh, put add some oil to it because it was a bit low. Fuel tanks, not it's fuel tanks, not has it been dumped out. It's got some debris in it, but it's not that. I guess. It's, the carburetor on the looked very dirty, needed to be blowed out with compressed air. The carburetor didn't look too good. I never showed y'all that, but so anyways, I'm gonna let this charge overnight, come back, let him he said he was gonna come back tomorrow, hopefully, and see if it will. Cause I don't think it's got at least a maybe a amperture. I mean, probably let it slow charge. It's on the 12 volt, not the 6 volt. I mean, it's, I don't even know. I might be getting something out of it. I don't know. If it's not, then then we're, this battery's probably toasted. It pretty much looks like it's done. And even though we had it on the, the, the one for that that makes a jump start, it still turned over not fast. It still was, wasn't turning over quick enough. Then the weirdest thing it was, he was like, he's like, am I going to be cutting tomorrow? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I just like, I don't know yet. That depends. I mean, the grass don't need that much of a cutting right now. And plus, we had to be sure everything was picked up and stuff. I got to and I got to go to my older sister's next door, my child, or actually my childhood house and pick up all the stuff from over there because they got a mess. I got all kinds of toys and stuff over there I gotta pick up. I don't know. It might it might still it might still work. I really don't know to be exact right now. I haven't even got that trimmer right there, that Echo GT two hundred R trimmer trimmer started yet. I might get it started here in a little bit. But I'll probably do it on a separate video though. And that's a Craftsman electric. The one sitting next to it, that Craftsman is a electric leaf blower. No, it's not gas, but it's electric. Here comes a big chopper. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Let's go out and see. Terry Chopper there. Yep, so it's on the anyways, might start up the trimmer here and maybe get it get some run time into it. Let me see how much fuel is in it. I don't think there's I don't know how much fuel's in it. Let's see. Uh crap. Can't I gotta clean up I gotta clean up my bike too. Well I can't clean it up. Hold on, I gotta untangle, well, yeah, let me untangle this mess real quick, hold on. Okay, I just realized something here. I don't know why, but, that lid's locked up. Oh, goodness, okay. Let's see if I can, hold on. Yeah, that lid's locked up. Let me see if I can get it off or not, I'm gonna have to get pliers. 
Okay, I was able to get the lid off of here. And for whatever reason, there is no feel, and I mean no feel, like, I don't know if it leaked out or if it's got a leak. There is someone, somehow this thing has no feel. And that makes no sense. I thought there was feel up in this thing. So we can't do anything about starting that up. It needs a heck of a cleanup too. So let's tighten that back up. Yeah, let's see. Try to... Yeah, no feel whatsoever. I don't know if it's if it leaked out or what the heck. That is Hmm. I'm wondering if maybe it's got a, a feel leak. That's not good. I don't understand. Does this thing have a fuel leak? Like if there was some fuel in it, I think last time I ran up, so we can't do anything about starting this up this time it is out of fuel for whatever it is ran out of fuel ain't that ain't that a shame so and i i, I had no idea it was out of fuel he could have probably took that with him and try to put the darn some more stuff in it it's like you can't you can't put gasoline only in that trimmer it's got to be mixed with some oil which i don't know i don't know if it's got a leak or what so can't do anything about starting that. Fuel's out. So, I don't even know. I don't even think this is even charging. Like, I don't want to mess with it too darn much because it's not my charger. So, you can hear it buzzing and whatnot. You can hear that. But, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's, it's not going to charge it because this battery's toasted. I mean, we never had a battery that's been so corroded, corroded like that before. It's just uh, one of those, um, see, AutoCraft batteries there. There it goes. Mm -hmm. One of my cousins on the golf cart there. They get so excited, I tell y'all. The dogs get so excited. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to jump off here now. I was going to make a video of that trimmer, but apparently it's out of fuel. So, that's a that's a shame. If he comes back, the, the guy comes back here tomorrow, I'll have to let him know about it. Because I thought there was still some fuel in it, and apparently there's not. I don't think this is going to run. We have to let it charge overnight and maybe come back the next day and see how everything's doing. But it is plugged up. But I'll come back later and yeah. Alright everybody, what's happening? It's Jesse Ledner here. It's the next day after that previous video that I recorded. I'm going to go outside and check on the battery for a lawnmower. It was on the charger last time. Let's see what's going on. Let's see if it humming like crazy here. So. Eh, some, oh, somebody must have been messing with it. I knew it was humming more louder. Somebody must have been messing with it while I was asleep. Uh, it's got some I think that battery's just toasted like it's not even it's not even only got like at least the amp or two in it I knew it was humming more so I but I think this battery is just oh yeah somebody was definitely messing with it look at that Must have been messing with it while I was asleep. I don't know if it would if it turned over or not. Hmm. So, so whoever was messing with it must have been messing with it while I was still asleep. But I think I'm guessing it 
didn't turn over fast enough for whatever reason. I gotta get a paper towel and try to clean that up. Yeah, someone must. Someone definitely was messing with it. Let's see. Yeah, not enough fuel tank. It's not even. Let's put some. Maybe we should put some fuel in here. Let's see. Hold on. I think I'm just going to pour whatever fuel is left in here. I don't know if it's actual fuel. Let's see. Uh oh. Hand slip in there. Um, yeah, I'll just pour whatever's left in here. Pour whatever's left. Yeah. Uh, almost full, but not exactly. I'm trying to get any more whatever feels left in there out of it. Some drips coming out still. Still some drips, but it'll be good enough. So that's whatever was feel was left in there. Let's put the cap back on it. I guess somebody was still trying to work on it earlier. I never did think to tell them that this um, trimmer was out of feel as well. I guess I don't know if it's leaking or what, because. So I didn't put whatever fuel was left. I'm out, I don't know if I'm going to try to start it right now or not. I don't think I am. But I was definitely asleep when this was happening. Because I got, woke up earlier. And then... And then, um... So I was about to say... But then I got dizzy, so I went back to sleep. Next thing you know, I woke up with a headache, so. I don't know if this battery might be cooked. I mean, he he cleaned, he cleaned the battery. Um, is that a turn? I, is that terminal acting up or something? Um. Is that a new terminal or something? I don't know. He cleaned the battery up a little bit there. But this is what it's looking like right now, and he's left it on the the um 12 volt 6 amp one, so I'm guessing that's like the jump starter one. And some in a way, you see it's right there. So I, I think this battery might be done for, but you just never know. I'm not even going to bother starting it right now, it ain't worth it. And, yeah, I'll update y'all soon enough, hopefully.